hello everyone so welcome in the new video so in last video we have seen how to program leds related things for this nucleo 144 board so on nucleo 144 board three onboard leds are there and they are connected with the gpio and to turn on and turn off you have to deal with these pins pb7 pb pc7 and pb14 now in today's video we will add switch along with the leds so push buttons are there so here in this video you can see this one is a b1 push button okay and this is b2 so b2 is basically used for reset and this is uh, you can say user button so we will program this and this button is connected with pc13 so now we will write code to read this switch or push button status and based on its status we will take the decision and decision means we will generate different pattern on these three leds okay and these three leds are connected with this pin pc7 pb7 and pb14 so now we will start with the stn32 cube mx we will create a new project now in new project we have to select our nucleo 144 board and in nucleo 144 board you can see our part number is this 76 7zi so you have to connect you have to select this part number then simply click on start project so initial message is initialize all peripheral with the default mode so you can select yes or no however we want one push button and three leds so finally in the pin configuration we will only keep these four pins so now here you can see default pins are there so we can simply clear them and now first step is you have to provide the clock so in rcc you have to select this crystal ceramic in high speed clock now second thing is we have three different leds connected with three pin pc7 pb7 and pb14 okay so we have to select or configure this three pin as an output because leds are there so pc7 pb14 right so pb14 is here so you can see pc7 here right and third pin is pc7 so now we have to search for this pc7 so this is pc7 right and now after three leds our push button is with pc13 okay so now here pc13 is there and now you have to configure this as gpio input because switch is there and we will going to read this pin so that's why its direction should be input so now simply generate the code so now here you have to give project name push button test okay and in tool chain we will select mdk arm okay and then simply click on this generate code so now we will be generating user source code and we will open this code in l tool meanwhile you can see only single led is on right now okay 
okay and other two leds are in off mode so now here you can see code is successfully generated so now we have to simply open the project so now our project will open in kale microvision 5 so this is the project this is the name pb tape right and we have to open this main.c and here we will write our user code so by default you can see uh, few pins are already there pb14 pb7 right so now we will write a code uh, one minute let me check pin configuration pc7 pb14 okay so now let us start the code let us start writing the code and now we will simply use this write function code into user code right and now i will simply read the switch so for that i have to use hal gpio read pin function right so i will simply use this if hal gpio read pin and as an argument we have to pass the port so gpio c because here you can see this push button is connected with pc 13 and second argument is on which pin so our pin number is 13 right then do this else we will write another logic right now what i will write let us say if switch is pressed right let us say if switch is pressed one minute i have to check whether this function is there or not so we can check in this apis yes so this is the function okay now now if the output of this is high or one then this function will simply write low on both the pin PC, uh, pin 7 of the port b and pin 14 of the port p means these two led will turn off if this signal is high else both will turn on okay so now let us check in this circuit so here in the circuit you can see this is the schematic and this is the user button okay b1 so you can see by default this button is connected with the ground and if user will press this switch then vdd will be there on this pc 13 okay so if user will press the button okay then and then this condition will satisfied so if user will press the button then both the led should be turn off and if user will release the button then both the led should be turn off okay so now save the code now compile it build it so now it will generate the hexadecimal file okay so now you can see the hex file is created successfully so now simply load the code do not upgrade it no and here you can see right so now code is loaded on the board and here you can see by default these two leds are on okay as per the logic you can see by default this is low because switch is connected with ground and if i will press this then both the led should be off and you can see so code is working perfectly so this is how you can interface this switch okay and write logic for this stn32 nucleon whatever board so if you like my work then please like my videos and subscribe my youtube channel
थैंक्स अलॉट